Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Martin and welcome to 2K Central. I hope you guys are well. Happy New Year. My goodness, it's good to be back. So I'm here with another Mafia 3 video and I know what you're thinking. Let's just move on already. And I do agree, I'm honestly slightly tired of being negative towards the game in general. So this will be my final Mafia 3 video in which I'm critical towards the game. So here's our list of the six things we thought were wrong with Hangar 13's Mafia 3. Brace yourselves. Number one, a buggy, unfinished game. Now one of the biggest don'ts of the gaming industry is releasing an unfinished game that has been, in many regards, overhyped. Sorry about that. As a developer and publisher, you're just asking for negativity as you're gonna lose the trust of the gamer and in doing so, lose future sales for your lack of honesty and transparency. Mafia 3 was released on October 7th in an extremely poor state. It was filled with countless bugs, glitches, and for some people, those turned out to be game breaking. And for me, it made Mafia 3 less immersive. I was losing save progress, cars were freaking out, multiple frame drops, seeing two Cassandras, seeing two Burks during character defining moments, and seeing this thing, whatever the fuck that is. There's so many other issues people had with this game that honestly all combine to show that Hangar 13 really needed more time to polish this game off. And it seems like they were unfortunately forced to meet a deadline by their publisher 2K. So on behalf of gamers around the world, developers and publishers, can we please stop releasing unfinished products? Okay, thanks. Number two, inconsistent graphics. Now, one of my major issues I had with Mafia 3's graphics was the widely apparent contrast between beautiful looking and well-executed cutscenes to the lackluster in-engine visuals we experienced during gameplay. Now, usually I don't really give a shit about graphics, but there was a noticeable difference between the two that was pretty off-putting. Now don't get me wrong, certain aspects of the game look good, but it's filled with some weird lighting effects that are used to almost hide the game's poor depth of field and dull textures that surround the open world and don't even get me started on how the sky looks. I'm sorry, there's been enough complaints about that. Overall, Mafia 3 doesn't look awful, but for a game on this generation of consoles, it looks pretty bad. Number three, an open world with no activities. Now within the audience, this is possibly the biggest complaint we receive. Why build an open world if there's almost nothing to do in it outside of killing, driving from A to B, swimming, collecting, and feeding alligators some unlucky Italians. It's fair to say that the game has very little to offer outside of the main campaign. Sadly, with the absence of any mini games, side missions, and interactive NPCs in New Bardo, this open world is completely empty, apart from collectibles that are scattered around the city, that honestly proved to be no challenge to gather because of the wiretap ability, which just straight up showed you their exact location. So overall, there was almost no reason to explore New Bardo because we had nothing to do in it and interact with. Now, even though Higher 13 continued to add more content in the form of races and customization through free updates months after launch, which is very cool of them, but it further emphasizes that this game really needed a few more months in development to be great. Number four, a repetitive mission structure. Perhaps the biggest mistake on Mafia 3's part came in the form of its tedious mission structure. With Link and Clay, we attempted to take down Sal Marcano and the Italian mob by damaging their money. Firstly, you drive from A to B, then start destroying their weapon supplies, cars, drugs, and killing enforcers. In theory, it actually sounds good, and for the first few hours of the game, it is actually fun, until you realize that it's the full game, and you have to repeat this process over and over and over, you get my point. After taking the first racket in game, you've practically experienced everything Mafia 3 has to offer from a gameplay perspective. You kill the bad guy's man, destroy his stuff, so you can reach the bigger bad guy to advance the story. Now the major positive thing to come from doing these tedious rackets was that it opened up Mafia 3's set piece missions, which honestly showed some potential that Mafia 3 can be fun, but there simply wasn't enough of them to save the game from being repetitive. Number five, missing features that made the series unique. Now all you Mafia 2 fans know what's up and what I'm about to say. Higher 13's choice to remove unique features from Mafia 2 that honestly all combined to make a better and more memorable game. Features such as the option to repair your damaged car, minor clothing and vehicle customization, eating, drinking, being pulled over for speeding, the option to bribe police, the speed limiter, interacting with NPCs, and refueling your car at the gas station were all removed from Mafia 3. Now if Higher 13 simply improved on these small features and continued to add their own, such as associates, 
the set downs and perks, then Mafia 3 would have felt a lot less generic. Number six, poor AI. And finally, Mafia 3's blind and robotic enemy AI. At best, they flank or throw Molotovs to remove you from cover, but for the most part, Mafia 3's decent gunplay is wasted as the Italian Mafia stand still or simply move backwards or side to side for an easy headshot in open combat. While in stealth, the enemy tend to stand still or walk a specific pattern that soon becomes simple to read. Kill their friend and you'll find them mindlessly wandering towards his dead body to investigate, ignoring the very reason he's dead in the first place, which is like in clay. Overall, the robotic NPCs left me wondering how the hell did the Italian Mafia end up running New Bardo in the first place? Like clearly this game had more than six issues, I just chose the six that stood out during my playthrough specifically. So here are some small nitpicks from features that I'd like to see improved on or removed completely. Mafia 3's Eagle Vision, unrealistic car collisions, reuse locations for missions that just made the game more repetitive. Lack of things to spend in-game money on, the overpowered whistle feature. Yes, I'm complaining about whistling. A single witness calling the police. Beyond easy cage fights, those scenes in which two characters robotically stare at each other as the game forces boring dialogue upon you, given an associate territory that literally has no effect on the overall narrative. There's also no option to defend or assign men to each racket you capture to create a gang war. Instead, the Italian Mafia simply allow you to keep it. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I hope, <laughs> I hope you don't see this as a rant. I have played Mafia 3 to completion twice, and I wanted to love the game more than anything, but I sadly found it to be a colossal disappointment. And I know some of you guys liked it, which I'm happy to hear. And I probably will play this game a third time since there's been an update that has included customization and races just to see how it plays out. And Higher 13, they honestly did have some good concepts for Mafia 3, though it's pretty clear that they needed much more time and development to perfect specific features. So yeah, I just, that's the one thing I don't like about this industry is money-making publishers force new developers who have good ideas, but they just didn't have enough time. But yeah, that's, I guess, a topic for another day. Taylor will have a video titled What Mafia 3 Did Right, which will be much more positive than this video. Uh, while my next video will be about Red Dead Redemption 2. Also, I have a big question for you guys. If a Mafia 4 were to happen, what timeline and setting would you like to see from that game? Actually, what would you want from Mafia 4? I'm curious. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. For more honest videos like this, that is my new outro, yes. Stay tuned here on 2K Central. Take it easy guys. Bye bye and happy new year. Is everything absolutely splendid? Walking down the street and you